We've lived through a good financial era. This just tastes and smells so much like the last three times I've been through this. The late 90s, the mid 2000s, right? You can't go that long with everything being rosy and so practical. Everybody's you know, coming to me and saying, hey, it's gonna take me four years, I'm gonna raise money three times, and I'm like, you're not gonna get there. Think empathy. Founders don't have empathy for investors. Mm. And vice versa. And I think the, the most empathetic investors and operators win because they're good salespeople because they think about what the other person's thinking about. It's actually very tried and true. The same stuff that would have worked in 1954 yeah. and the same stuff that would have worked in 1837, that's what I believe in. I'm old school like that. I think that uh, we need more old school right now because everybody's just 38 buzzwords in a row. I mean, I can only sit through so many, I'm gonna be the Airbnb of, I'm gonna be the Uber of, right? Yeah. The only people you're gonna trick are losing players. So you're not gonna want them on your side anyway. Mm -hmm. So I think you'll win me over much more with self-awareness and and when I ask you a question, instead of giving me some horse shit because you think you gotta answer me, which then completely checks me out, you say, hey Gary, here would be a good move on me. Hey Gary, I can't answer that for you because like you Gary, I wasn't a good student and I haven't learned yet what, how to anticipate the financial projections of my business. I just know that my bag is gonna sell. That would win me over. Because it shows they've done the intel on you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they're being self-aware and they're deploying self-deprecating realities and they're just being real. Yeah. Versus, oh yes, so over the next three years we're gonna do 68 million and the CAC on that is and the ROA. It, like, and I'm like, you don't know what you're even talking about. Yes. And so I'm betting on the jockey a lot of times. To me, betting on Casey Neistat was very easy because I knew that he understood the video space extremely well and he would figure it out. I love when people are emotional about how they want their victory. It's hard enough to get a victory, which is why it's very good to bet on a jockey, right? I don't care if you came to me and started the business off as a t-shirt company, ended up being a B2B radar app. I don't care. As long as my $40,000 became 107, I was happy. 